I came across this on Reddit, and uh, this is some stranger than fiction type stuff. Uh, Elon Musk's elusive brain computer firm just made a big reveal. The secretive firm is almost ready for launch. The firm aims to develop ultra high bandwidth brain machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, here's some funny <laughs> comments on this Reddit post. In April 2019, five scientists linked to Neuralink published a research paper describing a sewing machine-like technique for inserting probes into human brains. <laughs> and this person says, uh, sign me up for Neuralink 2 with the bugs worked out. He's like, yeah, I'm all good on uh, getting my brain sewed upon and having probes inserted. Another person, did I somehow miss like 20 years of breakthroughs in brain interfaces? Probably not taken from the article. In terms of concrete goals, the initial focus will be on medical applications. Urban's article states that Neuralink aims to launch a product in 2021 that helps with certain severe brain injuries, stroke, cancer lesion, and congenital. Another one, when the fuck can I download a goddamn language for three easy payments of $4.99? Uh, I don't think it'll cost you. Probably just pay for bandwidth. The entire internet acts as your long-term memory. Just fetch and recall whatever you want, whenever you want. That'd be fucking nuts. That'd be fucking nuts. You're just paying for fucking bandwidth. <laughs> what kind of a world are we living in, man? And then this other person says, you don't think there will be something like the Mind Store where you can purchase downloads. Sur surely it will have to be a different file than just downloading a PDF or some sort. My best guess is the information that you can download, if that's even possible, would be highly regulated and possibly expensive depending on what it is. But fuck yeah, that would be awesome if you can download whatever for free. Uh, yeah, there's likely gonna be like a app store, but for the mind. What kind of shit, like languages, fighting styles? I mean, this is obviously just the Matrix shit that, that Neo got, like you can pilot a fucking plane. Um, what other kind of shit would you wanna be able to do? Fucking dope ass sex moves, obviously. You'd want to do sex very effectively. Like, just be a fucking animal fucker. Um, no, not actually like fuck animals, but like be a, be like a, a beast of a fucker. You know, like a, just a, whoa, that guy's good at fucking. He must have downloaded the fucking, fucking pack from the mind store. What's interesting is like, depending on what you download, that molds your personality. So if you decide to download a bunch of creative stuff, like really, really crazy, like Hunter S. Thompson um, writing, then you become molded into that kind of person. But if you want to download information that's like nonfiction and just kind of boring, um, then you kind of become that dull person who's just reciting history, but in a really like concise manner. You're just getting straight to the point. You're not dilly dallying with the flowery, flowery language. I'm trying to think, what would I download? Like if I had access to this technology where I could just fucking download shit what what would i want i'd want to i want to like i'd want the techniques definitely for like combat even like weightlifting i'd want to just weightlift perfectly i'd want perfect running form i was thinking like i want i'd want to know how to like chew food perfectly like how to blink perfectly i don't blink a lot so i'd want to like download like a blinking package like a proper blink blink package a breathing package that's fucking huge a monk package because i'm trying to meditate like a motherfucker out there dude I'm trying to sit cross-legged and just fucking get in the zone. Like I'm trying to apply it to the daily activities I, I normally attempt to do. Like I attempt to run, I attempt to weightlift, I attempt to meditate. I do all of them poorly. Uh, I even chew food poorly, I breathe poorly. And there's so many breathing techniques. There's this stuff called holotropic breathing that's supposed to take you to like the DMT world. I don't wanna do that shit sometimes. Uh, what other kind of stuff? Obviously like creative stuff. I'd want to be more creative, but it's, it's all kind of limiting because I wonder what the capacity for your brain is. Even though you can expand the capacity, it's hard to imagine someone that's very concise in terms of nonfiction, uh, like science type stuff, but also incredibly creative. These people are very rare in society and we admire them, but it's a rare breed. And I think most people would want to be really well-rounded, like they'd want to be extremely creative, but also extremely intelligent in like scientific type domains. What else would I fucking want, man? I think that's most of them. Like I would just, I would just inject like a bunch of comedy specials into my brain, like Richard Pryor, and then I'd want like Elvis's and, and Michael Jackson's like maneuvers and confidence, Frank fucking Sinatra. Inject all his fucking juice in me, dude. I want Frank's voice. I forgot about singing. Yeah, I'd want to sing and dance and shit too. 
Oh, but then we'd all be the same, wouldn't we? Because everyone would want to inject like the main people's shit. And then there's going to be people that inject nothing. And I think they're the interesting people. But then we're all like on this elevated plane of existence. I don't know if we even notice the fucking people who haven't injected anything. Are we just like aloof to them? Or do we kind of admire them? Or are they like the hipsters and they're just kind of like looking down upon us, but we're looking down upon them. And it's like this weird fucking uh, snake eating the fucking head. The What do they call those? Ouroboros or Ouroboros or some fucking shit. I never know how to say that word. Will this work out? Probably not. Will this technology kill us all? Probably. Someone's going to get too smart. They're going to invent some high-level weaponry and uh, we're all going to die. Like we're, we were able to invent the atomic bomb in the 50s. They were talking about inventing weapons that could destroy entire continents in the 50s. Now, do I think there are weapons that we can create that are far more powerful than that, that can destroy an entire planet, that can destroy a, a, an entire uh, solar system? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think we can probably figure out how to make a black hole or some equivalent of it, just swallow up a whole galaxy. And that's kind of the problem when you get into these territories of uh, creating this this high level technology, cre creating this high level intelligence. You get into this very dangerous area where where everyone has access to it, possibly, or you don't even everyone doesn't even need access to it. A couple people, if they have access to it and they have they have nefarious desires, um, they can do some nefarious things, such as creating a <laughs> artificial black hole. That destroys everything. <laughs> so let's, how do we spin this uh, optimistically? Um, I don't think there is a way. I don't know if I want to live in a world where I can modify my brain's bandwidth. Uh, Musk was talking about modifying our inputs and outputs so you can absorb more information, but you can also output more information in terms of like, right now we have to type and we have to communicate things with words. And in this new world, this new modified world, even your output would be modified like, you could possibly communicate telepathically in a more clear manner because words are so inefficient. As you can see, an eight minute fucking video, I haven't said shit. So yeah, what do you guys think about all this? And if you found any of this interesting, please subscribe. Uh, many more videos to come. We have two subscribers and, and they're good people. They're good, wholesome individuals. Uh, so if you still have fingers and you still use your brain, uh, grab that mouse and hit that subscribe button. <laughs>